How's it going guys? So lately I've had a couple of comments from a spectator of mine that would like to do a police light video. These comments have been coming from Mason Milburn and so I sat down and I messed around with the program a little bit and this is what I came up with. If you guys are interested in learning how to get this effect on your keyboard then I'm going to show you right now. So I'm just going to start this video out by uh, showing you guys a little tip. So you can see here that this keyboard doesn't take up all this gray space and it kind of annoys me so it's at 100% but if I put it at 200% it's like way too big right? Uh, go back down to 100% too small. A little tip is you can hold control and press zero and it'll fit it to the exact size that you need it to be. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, police light effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our layer to a wave layer and we're gonna select the first quarter of our keys here. So actually I'm gonna select all my keys and hit delete. And now I'm gonna select the first quarter of my keys. I'm gonna drag all the way over to the number four key and uh, maybe just like that. I'm gonna deselect the space bar and I'm gonna make my color a two-tone gradient. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take red and I'm gonna drag it to the middle and we want this edge to be really fine. So you got red and you got black. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna click out of that. We're gonna angle this thing down at 180, uh, we don't need a pause or anything. And we're gonna change our speed up to about 50. And we're gonna max our speed out at 50, okay? And hit save. Another little tip for you guys is you can change um, your speed beyond this uh, with your width percentage. So. Basically what your width percentage does is it uh, increases or decreases the size of your pattern. So if you wanted this to go even faster than 50 keys per second, you can take this percentage down to 10 and hit save and then it would go even faster. So now you can see it's much, much faster. So now we're gonna take the second half of our keys and we're gonna hold control, deselect the ones you've already colored red and we're going to make these keys red as well, but they're going to be the reverse effect. So this one's going to be black. And this one's going to be red. Just like that. We're going to change the angle to where it's going up this time because that gives it a circular effect. It makes it look like it's going in a circle and rotating. We're going to change our width to 10% speed 50 and we're gonna hit save so now that finishes our red side basically looks like uh, my reds doing a circle here and now we're gonna go on to blue highlight the next row over here I'm gonna give it a little bit more yeah, something like that hold control and deselect the ones that are red that looks good like this I'm going to choose this and I'm going to actually, I'm going to keep it going the same direction as this one. So I'm going to change this to blue. I'm going to change the black to blue. I'm going to change the red to black. Okay. And angle is going to be up. Width's going to be at 10 and speed's at 50. I'm going to go ahead and hit save there. And now for our last little row over here. Last little blue section. I'm gonna select this pattern I've already made and just kind of flip the black and blue. That, we're gonna angle it down. 180, width at 10%, speed at 50, and hit save. And last but not least, I don't wanna forget about my Razer logo here on my keyboard. 
I'm gonna go ahead and select that and I'm gonna do something a little bit special with this I'm gonna to go to a, uh, uh, a multi pattern here and I'm gonna choose red and blue and red and just alternate red and blue and red and blue just like that change my speed up make it 10 percent and I'm going to angle it and it doesn't really matter what angle you go with here because it's just one key you're not really gonna see a direction and hit save and now you can see my razor logo down there is alternating blue and red as well as uh, blue and red police lights on my Thanks for watching this video guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you'd like to contact me about any interesting designs that you would want to see uh, you can contact me on any of my social media accounts Instagram Twitter or you can even find me on twitch four days a week but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace